Large, powerful Cane Corso are imposing dogs. They can be good watchdogs and are loyal to their family. There are also quite a few differences between these two breeds that you will learn about in this video, divided into eight topics. Let us know which breed you prefer after the video. Number 1. Origin the Dogo Argentino is a descendant of the now extinct fighting dog of Cordoba, a large, fierce dog bred for, as the name implies, fighting. A breeder from Argentina wanted a fearless hunting dog that could handle the terrain of his homeland, as well as being a loyal companion. In the 1920s, they began to use selective breeding and aimed to reduce the dog's desire to fight so it could cooperate in a pack. The Corso is one of many Mastiff-type dogs. This one was developed in Italy and is said to descend from Roman war dogs. He was also bred to hunt game, guard property and be an all-round farmhand. Their work included rounding up pigs or cattle and helping to drive them to market. The breed club sought recognition from the American Kennel Club, which was granted in 2010. The breed is now governed by the Cane Corso Association of America. Number 2. Personality Despite their fearsome appearance, the Dogo Argentino and Cane Corso are both very loving breeds, and their aggressive traits have been selectively eliminated from the breed during the course of its creation. Both breeds will gladly lay down their lives to ensure the safety of their master and family, as they are highly loyal and protective of their friends. The Cane Corso will pace around quietly around the home on patrol, while the Dogo Argentino might look at strangers suspicious from the first second of noticing a danger. It is still important to socialize them early to ensure that they do not turn aggressive or show unwanted behavior. Number 3. Appearance Both of these dogs are muscular, athletic and have an imposing body shape. Dogo Argentinos have large muzzles and their eyes can sometimes appear menacing. They are deep set within their head and relatively small and dark. This breed can grow up to 27 inches, which is 68 centimeters, and weigh up to 110 pounds, which is 50 kilograms. Their skin is elastic and their coat is short and tight fitting, with the only accepted color being white. While many Mastiffs have noticeably short faces, the muzzle of the Cane Corso is relatively long. They are slightly taller and heavier than Dogo Argentinos, this breed can grow up to 27.5 inches, which is 70 centimeters, and weigh up to 120 pounds, which is 54 kilograms. Their eyes are almond-shaped and darker eyes are preferred, though the color will typically reflect their coat color. Number 4. Trainability both the Dogo Argentino and Cane Corso need daily mental and physical stimulation to keep them busy, so they don't get bored and rambunctious. Start with training when they are still puppies, as it is very important to introduce them to new people, animals and places. Both breeds' strength requires a firm, active trainer who is capable of keeping big dogs in line, and they need strict boundaries. When you know how to handle them, they will follow your commands and will learn their boundaries and protect your family. As they are intelligent dog breeds, make sure to come up with new training methods and games, and they will love to train with you. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment the Dogo Argentino and Cane Corso both need a minimum of 60 minutes of daily exercise. Daily brisk walks will not suffice. You need to go on hikes, bike rides and runs or fun and challenging games to make them happy and to give the possibility to burn off their energy. The coat of the Cane Corso sheds heavily twice a year, so a good vacuum cleaner on hand to suck up the dust bunnies. Brush both breeds weekly with a soft bristle brush to remove loose hair and give them a weekly bath, especially as puppies, to keep them clean and healthy. Number 6. Best Home As you already know by now, both breeds are very loyal towards their families. However, you need to make sure to introduce new people, especially children, to their presence. Don't allow your dog to chase children and teach your children how to behave around those dogs. This includes not to pull their ears or make high-pitched sounds. If you already have other dogs in your family or consider one, you should choose the Cane Corso. They are more friendly towards other dogs than Dogo Argentinos. Number 7. Health 
Due to the fact that these two breeds are not a mix of many other breeds, they are quite healthy. However, there are some health issues that these breeds are predisposed to. Some of the health issues that can occur for Dogo Argentinos are deafness, hypothyroidism, glaucoma, and hip dysplasia. Cane Corsos are predisposed to heart problems, ectropion, entropion, epilepsy, and skin allergies. Both breeds have an average life expectancy from 10 to 12 years. When considering a puppy, it is important to do your research and seek a reputable breeder who is happy to answer any questions you have about the parents and their health, disposition, and purebred status. Number 8. Costs Both breeds can cost you between $1,500 and $2,500, depending on the current popularity, the litter size, location, and breed line quality. It is definitely worth it to do a good research to compare prices and find the best breeder. If you're looking for high-quality puppies with excellent quality and good health lines of their parents, a Cane Corso can cost you up to $8,500 and a Dogo Argentino up to $9,500. This price can be even higher if their parents are successful show dogs. Besides these costs, you have to pay between $500 to $1,000 a year for vet bills, food, toys, leashes, and much more. So what do you think? Do you prefer the Dogo Argentino or Cane Corso? Let us know in the comments and share your experience. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.